Hello, what's up and welcome to this channel. In today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to map and connect your PS4 controller the right way that you can play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild or whatever game you want to play on the CMU emulator uh, with motion control and the rumble shake in future. That's when you uh, interact with the enemy or enemy interact with you. That's when you get hit. It actually shakes just like the real deal. And of course, if you're going to use a third party controller, keep in mind that it needs to support the motion control and it's need to have the rumble pack. But that was out of the way, guys. We need two things for this tutorial. Please, a cable, just do it. Your controller, and as I said, third party goes good as well. With that all said, I'm going to get the heck uh, out of here, I'm going to my desktop, and I'm going to see you there. This. All right, as we're my desktop right now, guys, the first thing we're going to need to do is to connect your PS4 controller or your third party controller to your PC. Well, I did already. We're done. It's connected here. It's connected inside the PC. In case your, P your controller doesn't show up on the CMU emulator, guys, install Steam, this one here, and play any game on it. It will, the computer will recognize the controller and you will be probably uh, seeing your controller on the CMU emulator as well because for last uh, the tutorial I see some people had the problem. Anyways, uh, the second thing is guys, open CMU and you probably have it already set up and the only thing that you are struggling with is literally to map your controller to get it actually running to the games that you want to play. So you go, you go to option, you go to input setting guys and it's going to probably look like this, you, maybe you mess it up. Anyways, uh, just delete it and clear everything and it's gonna look like this. So the first thing we're gonna need to do guys is we're gonna name our controller. So we always have the profile in case something happens. I'm gonna call it MU. MU uh, Gaming. And uh, you're going to em emulate the controller, we're gonna review gamepad and control here guys, API. You go for SDL controller. This is only for the PS4 and for probably third party controllers and uh, you go for PS and it's going to controller PS4 controller. Okay, press add and uh, the coolest thing of this tutorial is guys, it's literally straightforward. It's actually the latest um, update build actually maps controller right away. But I don't know if it works with Xbox and whatnot. I will do that uh, maybe as well uh, in the future. But yes, it does literally map your controller, but if in any case it doesn't, go to my channel and uh, check my older video, it has only over 20,000 views, thank you for your support, and uh, watch it, how to, how to map it, and then do this, the last steps here, is to settings, uh, click use motion control, and uh, just go for the rumble. 49 and listen it's actually rumbles and you might can see it as well it's shaky as heck so anyways this works i put it at 51 and we press no okay guys and as i told you once again you oh hold up where's the <laughs> yeah here so with this out of way guys we good press save and uh, we good to go we good to go. And once again, guys, option is I showed you input settings, and then you go to settings here. And here, where can you uh, where, where you can um, you, uh, enable motion control, use motion control, and the rumble future. And what I recognize when you use X input, that's only for the Xbox. They will, they will not have the option to use uh, motion control or the rumble. If I'm not wrong, I did check it out. It will be great. Anyways. Put this out of the way guys, close this and open Breath of the Wild. A short and sweet tutorial, nothing too much. Like straight to the point guys, this is what I feel like people really like. Sometimes it's possible, sometimes not. Um, depends on the details and information that you want to give your viewers because I think this is really important. And not like rushing through it and uh, yeah. You know what I mean. In case you have questions, let me know in the comments below. And I will leave the, the old video in case you will your uh, SimU is not mapping your controller, just as mine. It's right there in front of you. Uh, now we're loading cache, Vulcan pipelines. And if you want me to do a, like a full setup guide, how to set up from game to settings and whatnot, I will do that in the future. 
there we go uh, we can before you before you even even start the game go to option guys and uh, aim with motion control it's probably gonna be off I want you to turn it on as you see I'm brittily and one more thing that you know that you did it right your ps4 controller actually gonna turn on as well so yeah aim motion control on and uh, back double check if it's on cool continue the game I already played a little bit I have a real switch behind me no can you see it there it is right there and I'm playing lately um, Tears of the Kingdom, cool game. Uh, the game starts, as you might see, right, right, left, up and down, running, jumping. It's literally like a, a, Wii, uh, like a, a Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, there's no uh, difference. And now for the important thing, it's the motion control. Look at this. See? works works like a charm and even the rumble works I already tested out um, yeah as I hit as I hit uh, the thingy it's actually vibrating and uh, yeah that's what that was it pretty much it guys thanks for uh, watching uh, like it if you like it dislike it if you didn't and I would appreciate the sub I'm so close to 1000 subscribers and uh, I wish when we get when we get there guys that we actually get uh, sponsored by anybody not for money only so I can actually um, do more tutorials on other controllers and uh, with that all said guys I gonna get the heck out of here have yourself a good day and bar else keep it going stay awesome my name is Emo from Emo Gaming hey not freaking out of here peace <laughs>